I've been using this M4 iPad Pro as my only computer for the last 500 days. I have no Mac, I have no PC, I've literally been doing everything that I need to do on this iPad. That includes all my office job work, which is in project management, and I've also done my teaching job on this iPad. And after I started this YouTube channel, I do all my video editing and graphic design on my iPad Pro as well. Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and so back in 2024, I needed an upgrade and I was trying to decide if I wanted to buy a Mac or an iPad or both and I've always been a big fan of the iPad and it looked like the iPad Pro had come a long way so in May of 2024 they released this new model and it looked like the hardware was really good and the software had come a long way and I thought you know what I want to see if the iPad can just do everything maybe I don't need a Mac anymore and before I bought this iPad Pro I actually did what we all do and I YouTubed it and I looked through a bunch of reviews and honestly they were all pretty bad it was very clear clear that most people on YouTube did not use their iPad Pro for what I call real work and productivity. They weren't taking their iPad into an office, into a cubicle, and crunching out spreadsheets and making PowerPoint presentations. They just weren't doing what I call real, everyday, normal office work. So I took it upon myself to buy this iPad Pro and actually create my own YouTube channel and then document my experiences on what it's like to actually use an iPad for real, everyday office work. And it's been a long journey, I'll tell you that. So in in this video, I want to answer three major questions that I had when I first bought this iPad, and they're the same questions that you're probably asking yourself as well. So first, can the iPad do heavy-duty productivity work? Would I recommend using just an iPad only for all this kind of work? And finally, after 500 days of using this iPad exclusively, am I going to end up just getting a Mac anyway? All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first question, can the iPad do heavy-duty, real-world productivity work? And the answer is... Yes, yes it can. Very, very well, actually. The trick is you have to give yourself enough time to learn the iPad operating system, where all the buttons are, and just get yourself comfortable and familiar with using this operating system, as well as the apps that were built for it. And I think that's where people get caught up. They might use the iPad for 15 minutes, realize it's really hard, and it's not like what they're familiar with. And I understand that. Now that I've been using the iPad Pro for 500 days, the other day I tried to use my work PC to do something very simple simple like send an email and even doing something like that was very cumbersome and took me about three times as long just because I'm not familiar with the layout. So it's not like the PC is bad, I'm just not familiar with it. And so if you're going to try this, if you want to do real work on your iPad, you've got to give yourself time to get acquainted with it and I always say give yourself at least 30 days, not a day, not the weekend. You're going to have to throw yourself at it for about a month or so. Once you do that, you're going to become really acclimated with where everything is and how everything works and you're going to feel a lot more comfortable with it. Well, what about Microsoft Office Tech Dad? Isn't it missing all kinds of features? It's just a mobile version. Okay, I put out a lot of content on Microsoft Office. It's actually really, really good. It's missing like a few things. And if you're not a heavy duty power user that's trying to use Microsoft Excel and run macros and all those things, you're going to be just fine. I draft up scopes of work. I make contracts in Microsoft Word. I can collaborate with my team members through comments. We can do it all live. It works perfectly fine. I can do budgets and project schedules in Microsoft Excel. Very easy to use, very fluid. And I use PowerPoint to draft all kinds of presentations and trainings for team members. So the Microsoft Office suite is very good on the iPad, in my opinion. Now, some tricks to using the iPad in real productivity, though, is you have to make it like a computer. So I wouldn't recommend just going with the touch screen and that's it. You're not going to get very far. You need to use a keyboard. You need to use a trackpad. After all, Microsoft Office was designed originally to work with these kinds of accessories. In addition, the iPad supports a secondary display now, so why not use it? In fact, I think it's critical for a good productivity workflow. I mean, if you were using a normal computer, you would likely connect it to a monitor when you're doing work. And if you've seen all my content about the new operating system, iPad OS 26, you'll see that they've made this iPad even more like a computer than ever before. So now you got all kinds of new windowing features and all kinds of new file management features. You can run tests in the background. It's just going to be more like a computer in the next couple weeks as soon as that launches. So question one, can it do real work? Yeah, and I've got plenty of content to back that up. You can check out my channel. Okay, question number two, would I recommend using an iPad Pro as your only computer? Well... 
Here's the thing I've learned. You don't have to pigeonhole yourself into using just one device just because. Let's say you've got a family and you have a car, but maybe you also need a truck because you've got work that you need to do with a truck. You don't have to tell yourself, well, I should just try to use the car for everything. That's just not necessary. And so what I've learned is my iPad is great for productivity, great for office work, great for teaching, video editing, but there are still a few things it just can't do. And I've made some content about that. So the browser is still just a little bit of a mobile browser and can't do certain things. There are certain issues like managing hard drives and thumb drives where the file management system just falls short. Like I can't delete files off of this thumb drive. It looks like they're deleted, but they're still on there. I don't know what it is about the file management system in the iPad, but it just can't read it correctly and delete the files appropriately. Well, that's a problem. There are other issues I've mentioned in other content, such as I can't restore my iPads back to iPad OS 18 after I've installed the beta on here. That requires a Mac. And something else I'll say if you're considering the iPad as your only computer is you got to make sure the software you need to run actually runs on the iPad. So sometimes the software just isn't available or sometimes it runs in a browser and it runs so bad that it's just not workable. A big example from my work is Smartsheet. It just doesn't work like it should on the browser. So don't pigeonhole yourself and make sure that this thing can actually meet all your software needs. Which leads me to question number three, will I get a Mac? And the answer is, Yes. After 500 days of using my iPad as my only computer, it's time to get a Mac. Because there are just those things that I can't do with my iPad that I need to be able to do. Now, I will still use my iPad Pro as my main computer. I'm still going to use it for all my productivity work. I love editing video on it. Final Cut Pro is really awesome on the iPad. So I intend to use my iPad Pro as my main computing device and my main portable device. I'm probably going to pick up a Mac that is a desktop version and doesn't go anywhere and I want to see how the iPad can complement a Mac like that. But I just need that Mac for those few things. I need it for that desktop browser at certain times when I just can't get things done on the mobile browser and I really need it for that file management when dealing with external hard drives. And in addition this channel has grown a lot and a lot of people that watch my channel want to know things about the Mac and how it plays well with the iPad and I can't really answer them because I don't have a Mac. So as this channel has expanded, I think it's time for me to get back into that Mac ecosystem and pull the whole Apple ecosystem together. And I think my viewers will really benefit from that because overall, this channel is an education channel. It's about how to use your iPad more effectively. And now I can just throw Mac OS into there and show everybody how you can make them all play together. So I'm excited for this next year. Little fun fact, this channel's actually been alive now for one year, officially next week. So I'm looking forward to year two of Tech Dad we're going to have some good content. Make sure you stick around. If you like and enjoy this content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.